this morning, Mississippi lawmakers voted this week to create a lottery in Mississippi. So that means Alabama is going to be the only state east of the Mississippi without a lottery. That's right, and that reignites the debate about an Alabama lottery. And CBS 42 News reporter Conagaski is live this morning with that. Connor, so what are lawmakers saying about this? Well, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey indicated recently that she'd be fine with turning this issue over to the voters and letting them decide whether or not the state has a lottery. And many of the people that we spoke with say they like that idea. That, of course, is not the way it played out in Mississippi recently. It was lawmakers there who made the decision. But many Alabamians already cross state lines to buy lottery tickets, so some think they should spend that money here instead. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Walt Maddox has been very vocal with his support for having a lottery here. The lottery has been part of our platform since the very beginning, and we certainly believe that that $300 million a year should be invested in college scholarships, pre-K programs, and to our schools that are struggling so we can begin to lift everyone up in the state of Alabama. Many say they'd like to see a lottery that generates money for education in the state. Others say the money could go toward road improvements. More on the lottery debate is coming up at 6.30. I spent some time yesterday in Railroad Park getting people's opinions about this. What do they think about Mississippi having a lottery and whether or not Alabama should have a lottery as well? You'll hear those opinions coming up in the next half hour. Live in Birmingham, Count and Gasquee, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.